I'm now joined by Michelle Falcon. She's with the YMCA of the Golden Crescent here to talk to us about their child care services and summer camp. Welcome to Community Crossroads. Thank you. So Michelle, talk to us about some of the services y'all offer over the summer at the YMCA. Well, we actually offer four different camps. Uh, we have a kinder camp that is for ages uh, pre-K three through five years old. That is located at Pinnacle Point uh, apartment complex. Uh, we run a summer camp at Edna, Texas, uh, and that is uh, held in one of the um, after-school locations. Um, we also run a teen camp, which is held there at uh, the YMCA, and we also run a youth camp that is held there at the YMCA. So several camps to keep track of this summer. Yes, ma'am. Some of them mobile. That's, that's, that's yes. great, meeting the community where they are. Right. And so what does it take to put all this together? A lot of planning. We start planning for summer probably in January. Um, you know, we like to uh, have weekly themes. Uh, we like the field trips that we plan to go with the themes that we uh, have for the kids. Um, so it, ta it takes a good six months or more. So the camp started May 30th. Yes, ma'am. We're approaching the end of the camps in August, not August 4th. too quickly. Right. But is there still time to register your child even though we're midway? Yes, ma'am, there is. We take registration through the whole summer. Oh. Yes, even if they just need it for the last week, we that continue last week. to. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what are some of the activities? I know you said that there are different age ranges. What right. kind of activities can we anticipate for maybe those um, uh, under the middle school ages? Okay. Um, well, they uh, are able to swim in our Y pool twice a week. Um, we do take field trips out of town. Uh, they have actually won this week at, to the Houston Aquarium. Oh, wow. Uh, we do take local field trips as well. Uh, our first graders and second graders go to Ravens, Woodlawn Bowling. Um, so we just keep them busy. We did start a new um, reading program called Deer, Drop Everything and Read, and they do that for about 15 to 20 minutes a day. Um, we also have a reading tutoring program that um, they come to us and they help um, the children that are in our program reach their reading level by the time they go back to school. So they're not only doing physical activities, they're working on those academic activities, mm -hmm. those academic areas of focus as well. Yes, ma'am. And for the teens, do they get to interact with um, the STEAM bus? Yes, they do. Uh, they will go um, outside and, and, and get on the bus and do some activities in there. Um, we also have uh, some um, items upstairs in the area that they have camp that uh, we have some volunteers from West High School, I believe, that come and uh, work with them on that. So in the 27 years of service you've provided at the Y, congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Um, how have you seen or well, you've seen these camps grow over time. What are you most excited about offering this summer? Well, um, the tutoring program is new. Um, also, uh, having the volunteers from West uh, with the STEM program come and do uh, some projects with our kids as well, that is uh, something new. Who gets more support? R right. Right. And it must mean something m more to the students to have high schoolers. The, um, right. The people this that will be the first year to. that we actually have high school students that actually were with the STEM program with the school for them to come and, and teach our kids. So it'll be an exciting new first yes. uh, addition. Yes. Wow. Well, thank you so much for, for joining us and for everything you do at the Y. Let's go ahead and remind our audience uh, the registration fee is $55. Yes, ma'am. And it goes all the way to August 4th. And for members, the weekly rate is 93. And for community participants, it's 113. That is correct. Great. Well, thank you so much again. Thank you. All right, don't go anywhere. Coming up, we hear more from our guests on Community Crossroads.